हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन सिम्युलेशन यस बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग मीनिंग एटसेट्रा और से एक्सप्लेनिंग मीनिंग एटसेट्रा ऑफ सिम्युलेशन जस्ट आई वांट टू टेक नेम्स ऑफ अ फ्यू थिंग्स वी ऑल और अदर मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव ऑलरेडी से कम अक्रॉस टू नेम्स ड्राइविंग सिम्युलेटर एंड फ्लाइट सिम्युलेटर व्हाट आर दीस टू थिंग्स Yes, they are actually special kinds of equipments which are used before, say, going for training of exact driving on road or exact, say, flight, flying the, a plane. In these kinds of simulators, the motion bases are fixed. They say the equipment doesn't actually move. but use of actuators to move yes you feel something like exactly moving because of the say, say screen and software etc etc and you just learn to use the say various things like steering gear yeah brakes clutch etc before going to drive a car actually on road oh, okay let's think about some very primary level things of simulation yes walker for baby no baby or rather say with some exceptions most of the babies learn to walk with the help of something and the best thing is walkers baby uses walker to learn walking walker sets a baby in exactly say same posture it helps the baby not to lose the say balance and baby can easily move through walking and baby actually say feels something like really walking otherwise without balancing the body walking is not possible but what exactly the walker say does it becomes helpful in maintaining the balance of the body of the baby and say the baby can feel what exactly is moving or walking without losing the balance ultimately baby practices walking without losing the balance and ultimately baby learns to walk say before starting running on track and field or other athletic tracks we use say a uh, treadmill in a gym or at house what is treadmill it is one kind of simulator where we walk or say run but we don't move from one place to the other place we walk or run at the same place but we feel like walking or running on <coughs> a track so all these kind of equipments are called simulators which puts the user in the same or similar kind of situation that is the biggest role of simulator in the training now let's move to operations research or operations management here what do we mean by simulation first of all here what do we mean by simulation or to simulate to simulate means to try to duplicate to duplicate the features the appearance and the characteristics of a real system something like a real system is created in a limited environment and it is used to train someone or say to train someone to face the same situation which he or she is going to face in the real system so we can say that simulation is the process of designing a model because when we deliberately create something similar to a system is called a model so simulation is the process of designing a model of a real system and conducting experiments with this model for the purpose of because what is the purpose behind simulation for the purpose of understanding the behavior understanding the behavior of the operation of the system 
or say in case of um, operations management the to understand the behavior of decision variable so we can say that simulation is process of designing a model of a real system conducting experiments with the model to understand the behavior of operation of the system this is a general meaning of simulation in case of operations research for the purpose of simulation we need to use a method with the help of statistics or in other words in case of operations research or operations management simulation may be taken as <coughs> creating a mathematical or statistical model which can be used to say understand the behavior of the decision making in future rather decision variable in future and for this purpose a very popular method is known as monte carlo method of simulation what is monte carlo method of simulation if we brief or say we check the method we can say that monte carlo method is an experiment based on chance or probability yes probability it uses random numbers the first thing is it is say a model building or experiment based on chances or probabilities number 2 it uses random numbers yes number 3 it requires decision making under uncertainties so ultimately it also say results as a tool helpful in decision making under uncertainties since the use of random numbers requires probabilities probabilities of possible outcomes yes it needs the past records because how to say get information about probabilities and various possible outcomes it is possible only on the basis of past records past records of say someone others experiences or our own experience but to have the real information about the probability we should have past records on the basis of past records we can create say frequency distribution then probability distribution and then cumulative probability distribution yes now say if we reach the stage of cumulative probability distribution then we can use random numbers so if we summarize the steps in monte carlo method the first is collecting past data number 2 is to say present the data in the form of frequency distribution then probability distribution then cumulative probability distribution and then to determine random number classes or random number intervals okay then getting the random numbers relevant to the decision variable yes and then understanding the behavior of the decision variable under the random occurring of the phenomena yes so this is actually say something like trial and error method based on random numbers and random numbers are dependent on the cumulative probability cumulative probability is nothing it is accumulation of the probabilities probabilities are actually say probabilities are always say or rather probabilities can be known on the basis of the past records the frequency distribution is nothing it is actually say presentation of data of past records <coughs> so we can summarize the monte carlo method of simulation as it is a mathematical model building it uses probability of various possible outcomes it uses random numbers and ultimately it is decision making under uncertainties so this was a primary discussion about the simulation and monte carlo method from the very next lecture we are going to solve the problems 
on simulation. Yes, we are going to discuss and solve the problems commonly for both the subjects, operations research as well as operations management. That's it. Thank you very much.